almost going back to the Botox, Raylan. You're doing great, sweetie. So today I am taking Raylan to get Botox. It's not just for old ladies. <laughs> Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. You ready to go get Botox? Here we go. I really wanna know, really wanna know. If I let me figure out where the road goes. You doing okay? Hi. Raylan, R A E L Y N N. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my heart. Hi. Doing fine. Uh, she has a Botox appointment. I can't set up. She has to be set up in every room. So they have to be in the waiting room. Get up. Now her number got deleted. So Alrighty. They're working on getting herself set up, okay? They do know that you're here and they're working on it. She said she's working as fast as she can to get it reset up. Okay. They'll get you in. They'll get you in. Just gotta figure it out. Yep. Just gotta figure it out. Trailing? Yeah. We got a hiccup. This kid still, she's still not discharged from yesterday. She does stuff, so I still can't do it. We still have to do the procedure. Okay. Please go to that sign for Okay. Thanks for working on it, though. That's oh. fine. <laughs> It'll get figured out, I'm sure. We gotta get this really taken care of. Yeah. Wait, when was last food or drink? So she had water up until 10.30, and then food uh, stopped at like 6, I think. 6 a.m.? Yeah. Perfect. Do you want to leave her in her chair or put her in the bed? Um, she'll, she'll be in this bed eventually she anyway. Eventually. Well, we can We can put her in bed then. I might mail him at Ring the Norton. Yeah. How yeah. you doing? <laughs> Pretty short there, working out. Okay, good deal. How you doing? I like your turtle shirt. I remember that you liked music a lot. She does. Yeah, she loves music. I don't know what they want. So I brought this. Can't, Did you guys want to play music it. during your okay. box injection? Okay. Great. Uh, could you help me get her in bed? I can. You should be ready to go back any second. Great. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, no. Almost going back for Botox, right then. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. This will make you feel much better. This will make you feel much better. You'll be more loose. You'll have less pain. Yeah, it'll make you feel better. You'll be less stiff. You're gonna do great. You're doing great already. You're doing great. They said they loved your eyes. They said you have beautiful eyes. Yeah, you did a good job getting this in too. You did a good job getting that in. You're doing great, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Is that a little seizure? You don't have a ton of clonic seizures anymore, but you still have some partial and focal and absent seizures. But no more tonic clonics. We haven't had those in like a month. You're doing great. Yeah, you're doing great. She's ready to go she's in her hospital gown they're gonna give her botox in her neck to help with uh the, how she looks up all the time they'll give her botox in her arms because she's been really stiff in her arms they'll give her some botox on her toes she she's been curling her toes in like this so she'll get some botox there that'll loosen that up and keep us from having pressure sores Yep. Almost ready. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. Uh, Raylan is getting Botox now. They just took her back. Uh, they gave her anesthesia. Um, it's pretty cool. I've never actually been in the room when they started doing all that stuff before, but they actually let me stay in there while she started getting anesthesia. So that was kind of cool. Um, but it looks like everything's going just fine. Uh, kind of slower getting started than I thought it was going to be because there was a mix-up about getting her registered but uh it's going and it's going good so so far so good you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high it's usually a ball rolling around this thing but it's not working right now all those balls are just sitting there <laughs> it's supposed to be rolling down this thing but not right now they're stuck 
Um, she's been back there for about an hour. No news so far, but no news is good news, right? I think they said the whole procedure should only be like an hour and a half. So I'm expecting that they either should be finishing up in the next half an hour or at least get a call at, at that point uh, letting me know how it's going. So, so far so good, I guess. Never actually stopped to look at it before, but on the wall behind me, there's actually the history of the children's hospital. This is kind of cool. It was started in 1879 and opened its doors with 15 beds. This shows us all the cases that they had in 1890. They had 49 cured cases, five cases that were discharged that were improved, and only two that were incurable. 12 more were under treatment, 10 removed by parents, and one unfortunately died. Also shows us several of the things that they used back then. Kind of cool to look at. <laughs> I guess some things never change. So just talked to the doctor and he said that everything went really good. So uh, Raylan will have looser legs, looser neck, looser toes, and that'll make her in general just a lot more comfortable. So I'm really grateful for that. So we get out of the hospital, uh, get our food hooked up, get in the van, uh, start driving, and then... Can you hear it? Her food starts beeping. <laughs> uh, that means that there's probably a kink in the line and she's not eating right now. Uh, so I need to pull over somewhere after the stoplight turns green and then uh, get her food hooked back up. So I pulled off, got the kink out of the line, got back on the road, and then it starts beeping again. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it or not, but yeah, it's beeping again. So I could pull off again, but I'm on the highway now, so it's a little harder to do that. Or I can just keep driving. I think I'm just gonna keep driving. <laughs> I mean, we're talking like 30 calories, guys. <laughs> That's really what we're talking about as far as the drive home right now. Uh, she's gonna miss 30 calories of food. Um, and she, because of the procedure, she, uh, she hasn't eaten since uh, 6 a.m. She got water until 10.30 a.m. So she's hydrated. She just hasn't had calories since 6 a.m. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> We're just gonna make it home. <laughs> We're talking 30 calories. Come on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the procedure went well. Uh, she has Botox in her neck and arms and ethanol. And I think, I think the ethanol was in her neck. If you haven't heard me talk about ethanol before, uh, ethanol, of course, is a, it's, it's alcohol. That's what ethanol is. But they've also found that it helps loosen muscles just like Botox does. So they've been experimenting with it. Um, but it's at the point that it's, it's just well known now that this, it works better than Botox in a lot of ways in that it's longer lasting than Botox is. Both the Botox and the ethanol will be very helpful in terms of how she feels and our ability to care for her and that kind of thing. So we're glad we got this done. That don't look good. Yeah. What does it do to you, Raylan? He's resting now. Oh. Are we disturbing your rest? Oh, she got her book. Oh, you don't feel good? Do you want some ibuprofen tonight? Yeah, they said that she might want some Tylenol or ibuprofen. You need some extra medicine? You can get some bedtime meds with some ibuprofen. Yeah, we'll get that for you. Were you taking a good little nap? And you're kind of achy? It's okay, sweetie. The doctor did say that she can be stiff for a day or two, maybe have some pain for a day or two after the procedure, but then she has three to six months of feeling so much better. Um, mm -hmm. So she should feel better, much better, tomorrow or the day after that. But right now she's a little achy. Are you telling me? Are you telling me? Mommy's getting you some ibuprofen. How's that? Is that more comfy? Is it good to be home? We only left this morning. We weren't gone that long. But it's more comfortable home, isn't it? It's more comfortable home, isn't it? Got your ibuprofen, got your evening meds. Now it's time for bed, okay? Okay. Night, night, sweetie. Hope you feel better. You'll feel better in the morning, I think. 
I think that Botox and ethanol will start kicking in and you'll feel a lot better. Okay? Night, night, sweetie. Even if the sky is falling down.